Greetings of the day, my friends. This is Rohani Bakshi on the behalf of Matrix Technologies, a 15-year-old software and web development company, welcoming you all to a learning session of Magento 2. Today we are going to discuss that how can we set up the promotions with card price rule. In our earlier video, we have covered the basic steps which are involved. Let me show you that here. That how can we give the rule a name, a description, this get a status as active, assign it to website, the customer groups, make up a specific coupon with a coupon code of 10 off, giving the users per coupon as 50 per customer as one, giving the priority and setting up the dates, and yes, then saving it up, right? Now, the next thing is that for the instance, we are going to have one product here, Zootag, which we have added already in our shopping cart. Now, we have to proceed ahead with this checkout procedure and need to apply the discount code of 10 off. Okay, so we're going to check out. Here, on the checkout page, we have the two things. We're going to have first shipping and payment things. So we need to provide our address and each and everything. And when you get it done, then you have to click next. Where we can see our order summary having the total order. Here you can see the order summary having the card subtotal of 29 and the shipping rate we have given our fixed rate is of dollar five so the order total gets on dollar thirty four okay so what we are going to do now we are going to apply the discount code here this is ten off we apply the discount now here we can see that our coupon was successfully applied okay but here now you can see there are no changes in the order summary of the product the price is still the same as dollar 34 as earlier so we need to proceed to our crucial steps in order to make this coupon work for our product so we are getting back to our admin panel here okay and from here we are scrolling to this tab of conditions okay now the second tab of conditions this is to apply the conditions in case we need to apply our card price rule for some uh, specific products under some conditions or uh, we are applying some sort of uh, you know subtotal or something like that you can select total weight shipping method or anything okay and in case you are applying uh, the conditions for all the products we need to just keep it blank we don't have to specify any sort of conditions okay next we are moving to the tab of actions okay this will give us plenty of options so that we can frame the structure of the price rule here first the option we are having is of apply this give us uh, the choices we can apply the discount to the products in the cart in the four ways firstly as the percent of the product price discount which will eliminate the percentage from the original price secondly is the fixed amount discount this will eliminate the fixed amount from the product price thirdly we are having the fixed amount discount for the whole cart this will eliminate the fixed amount from the car total and whereas the fourth one buy x get y free this defines the quantity the customer need to buy to get the other quantity free for our instance we are going to select the percent of the product price discount okay next we are having is the discount amount here we need to enter the amount of the discount we need to provide to our customers only in numbers for our instance, we are having it as 10. Great. Now, we are moving to our next option, which is maximum quantity discount is applied to. Let me highlight it for you like this. Yeah. 
So this option defines the maximum quantity of the same product to which we can give the discount in the same purchase. Like we can define this as for our instance as 100. So kindly select as per your requirement. Okay. Then we are going that whether we want to apply the discount to the shipping amount, yes or no, we are going to select as yes. Okay. Next we are having this discount got the subsequent rules well if you enable this as yes in case we don't need other rules to be applied after the implication of our current rule okay so this will avoid the multiple discounts on the same product you know to be happened for our customers so we are going to select it as yes because we want only the current rule to apply for the product okay then we are going for a last option which is a free shipping well, this having three choices. First, either we can select no in order to disable the free shipping, or we can have the four matching items only. That will allow free shipping for the items which are falling under the defined conditions. Or the last one for shipment with matching items. This is for the items that provide the free shipping for any shipment with matching items. For our instance, we are going to select no. Okay. Next, we are having the tab of labels. Now, here we need to define the appropriate text here and here. In the case we are running multiple websites, stores, and store views, each and every different store view have the different language needs to be translated with the required label. So, after doing the required settings, we need to save the work done so far with the save button. Okay. I'm so sorry. Let me log in again for this. Good lord. Give me a moment. Okay. Here we are logged in again. And we are going back to the marketing, to card price rules. We wish it had been saved. Coupon for 10% off. So here we can see uh, we are going to conditions, keeping blank, actions. We need to apply each and everything again. 10. And the maximum quantity I took was 100. And the, this I have come to yes. It says also yes. And the free shipping yes, no. Okay. I'm going to save this. Here you go. We have saved the rule, coupon for 10% off, right? So let's go back to our front end and see whether this code applies or not now. What we need to do is to refresh our page first. Once it is refreshed, we'll apply the discount code again, okay? So here we we are going to apply the discount code again. So first we are going to cancel this coupon. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to put our 10 off thing again. Turn off, apply the discount.
And here you can see the coupon is successfully applied. And here you go. Even you can see the change in the order summary now, right? The discounted 10 off, here you can see here, the dollar 3.40 have been deducted because we have applied the discount and then our order total is 31.60 from 34, right? So this is the way we apply the discount for our products. Next, next is your turn to go and explore your Magenta 2 store with this exciting feature of card price rules. And add more to your customer experience as well as to your revenue strength with our easy Magenta support. Even if you get stuck somewhere, you feel that uh, you need to put some query or you need any Magenta development services from our end, you are free to get in touch with us on magento at the rate of matridtech.net. Have a great time. 